Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I have been meaning to film this video for a couple weeks. I just don't know. I don't know, no excuses. It just hasn't happened. But this haul has been sitting on my desk taunting me for the last couple weeks, and I don't know why I'm out of breath. Somebody actually commented on that in one of my earlier videos. I don't know, I talk really fast and I forget to breathe. Back to the haul. So Bath & Body Works had their semi-annual sale a couple weeks ago, and me and my girlfriend at work um, decided to take our lunch break up and kind of go check things out. I love to stock up on my favorite three wick candles at this time because they're anywhere from like 25 to 50% off and this time they were 50% off. So I just kind of, I went all out. I got some of my favorite flavors or scents rather and then I also decided to try a couple new ones and I'm really excited to just like start burning them and also show you guys what I got. So without further ado, let's jump right in. And to be honest, I kind of forgot what I bought, so this is going to be fun and almost like I'm shopping all over again. Okay, so first things first, I got the Refreshing Rose Water Body Wipes. I've never tried these. Um, I have tried like body wipes before and kept them in my gym bag. I don't remember what brand I've had, but also if I don't have like body cleansing towelettes in my gym bag, I'll have baby wipes and that's just in case I want to run errands right after the gym and I don't have time to take a shower before going back out. Just kind of helps me feel a little bit more fresh. So I decided to give the Bath & Body Works ones a try. And I don't know if these are individually packaged. I kind of hope that they are, but I don't know. Again, because I've never tried these before. <gasps> they are! Oh, that's such good news. Okay, cool. So this is going to be awesome for traveling and also keeping in your purse or your gym bag. Oh. I am so excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like there's 12 in here. And I think I got this for like three bucks. It was mega on sale. Oh, I'm so glad I got that. Looks like I got another one of those. And this scent is cucumber aloe. So I'm excited for that. Do you guys remember when cucumber melon was a thing or is that kind of dating me? That was like my favorite signature scent from Bath & Body Works. And I know that they brought some of them back this year. I haven't bought any just because I think I'm kind of graduated from that scent, but um, I'll always love it. It's always gonna remind me of like middle school and early high school days. I'm gonna put this on the ground. Also, Bob is being extra needy, so if I'm a little distracted, it's because he's sitting right here and giving me the puppy dog face. Huh, Bobby? Did you a good boy, though? We love you. He's such a good boy. We just got back from the doggy, P-A-R-K. And it's like 90 degrees here already, so we couldn't stay that long because it got too hot. Okay, anyways, back to the haul. Uh, I picked up some of their gentle foaming soaps. I love these. It takes me forever to go through them, too. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but these will usually last me like two months. And so I grabbed a rose water and ivy. Here's the thing. I don't love rose-scented things, but my bathroom, as you guys saw in my video, is all pink and kind of rose-themed now and like a little glamour-themed. So I basically just got this soap to match my bathroom. It's fine, I'm sure it'll smell okay. The other scent I got was Eucalyptus Rain. And again, I didn't get it because I love the scent. I got it because this one's gonna match Zach's bathroom, which is like black, white, and gray. And this is what that one looks like. Next, I got a really pretty fancy soap. This one is the Nourishing Hand Soap with Essential Oils. And this one I have tried before, it's the Lemon Scent. And I got this beautiful one to keep in my kitchen because my kitchen is kind of like black and white marble granity. And that'll match really well. Okay, and then the next thing I got are the, they call them scent portables. So these are for your, these are the car fragrance refills. So I have a cute little, so they're fragrance, they're car fragrance, uh, what modules would you call it? I don't know, but they fit on your air vent. So unless you have your air or your heat on, you don't really get much scent out of them after a couple of days. The first day, first couple of days you open one of these, of course it's gonna smell fabulous. And then whenever you turn your vents on, it just kind of circulates that smell throughout your car. Uh, but I did notice that if you're kind of like in the spring or fall season, when you don't have to have your vents on and your windows are on, it, it doesn't smell as powerful. But again, I just love the scent that they have. And then the little holders that go in your car are so cute and they have seasonal ones. Um, seasonal holders and seasonal scents, but I just got a cute little marble and rose gold one for my car um, that I love and I've had for over a year. And I always kind of go to um, some of my favorite scents for these. I haven't really ventured outside some of these 
ba like more basic regular scents. And that is Endless Weekend, which I also love in their three wick candle. I got Beautiful Day. And then I got Crisp Morning Air. So you can kind of see a theme here. For my car, I like really outdoorsy, fresh, clean smells. And I think that's just because it reminds me of being in the mountains, which are my happy place. Okay, on to the candles, which are my favorite part. So again, I told you guys I love that Endless Weekend. It's one of my favorite scents. So I got that in the three-wick candle. And I always opt for the white barn. Well, they're all white barn candles, but I, I think. Um, but I always opt for kind of like some of the more simple candle, like the glass holders. I don't know what you call it, whatever this is. Like I always opt for the more simple, um, I don't forget know what you're gonna call it, but the simple design, okay? So, Endless Weekend. And again, all these candles, they're normally $24.50. These were all $10 during the haul. So I'm telling you, I bought quite a few. Um, the next one is I got Sundress. And I have smelled this scent before, I love it. Oh, I don't, it kind of almost reminds me of a men's cologne or like men's deodorant but not as masculine. I, I don't know, it's like a feminine twist on a men's deodorant, if that makes sense, but I love it. I love this one, and this one's gonna match my bathroom really well as well. So not only did I pick it for the scent, but I picked um, kind of a more busy glass holder just because, again, this will, will match my bathroom really well. I'm gonna put this back so you guys can kind of, well, that's not gonna work. I'll show you my full haul at the end. Also, I'm really excited because I got a much bigger memory card, a couple extra batteries, so I can film a little bit longer. Okay, on to the next candle. This one is Sweater Weather. So they had some of their fall scents left over, and this is my favorite fall scent. Uh, uh, I, it smells like sweater weather. I don't even know how else to describe it. It smells like after all the leaves have fallen, and the first cool breeze is in the air and it picks up some of the top snow from the tip top of the mountains and it brings it down to the valley. Love it, love that smell. There's probably scent profiles on their website. I just like making up fun pro scent profiles for you. Okay, stress relief. I usually like to get this one in the green like white barn candle holder but that one wasn't on sale for some reason but this is my all-time favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I buy it in the little portable car refill things and then I buy these um, candles throughout the year whenever they're on sale and I stock up. I think I probably have like three or four in my cabinet right now um, but it is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Scented Candle in this one because I'm pretty prone to migraines which actually I might need to film another video on this. Um, I'm prone to migraines. I've had them my entire life and when I got into my, like when I turned 30, they started becoming more frequent and so I'm trying something, I'm, I'm trying an IUD this year and that's, um, my doctor basically suggested to try that so that my hormone level, levels will stay regulated throughout my cycle as well. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I have gone through a full cycle with it already and knock on wood, but I did not actually get a migraine this period. So that's really awesome because they totally put me out for a day or two. But anyways, back to the haul again. Sorry, I'm distracted, but this scent helps me kind of work through those migraines. It takes away the nausea that I get when I'm feeling sick. So, and it's just such a like fresh, clean smell as well. And again, this is the stress relief one. Bob is like, what are you doing, Mom? What else is in that bag? Okay, this one is just fun and I grabbed for 4th of July. And the scent on this is called Firecracker Pop. And it actually smells like the Firecracker Pops. You guys, you've all had one. The red, white, and blue popsicles that um, kind of taste like an Italian ice. That's exactly what this smells like. With like a little bit hint more of cherry. But I just thought it was really cute. That's the only... Um, like a uh, 4th of July themed decoration I have right now. Next one is Leaves, another fall candle. Now this one definitely smells a little bit more like fall. Um, it smells like crunchy, like fall leaves mixed with a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, there's definitely like, um, like a nutty cinnamony smell added into this one, but I love this one too. Okay, and then my last one, 
I got because I thought the holder was so cute and I thought this would go really well with my living room. Uh, maybe I'll do a living room tour someday, but I completely just redecorated my living room to kind of give it like a Santa Fe, deserty, red rock style feel. And I thought that this candle would go really well with that one. And the scent on this is sun drenched linen. I think this is a newer scent. This this literally smells like um, fabric softener, fab, like the fabric softener sheets. Just very fresh and clean. Uh, this one always reminds me of like when I used to be a runner and I would go on my long runs on either Saturday or Sunday mornings and like everybody would be doing their laundry early in the morning and like that scent just kind of overtakes, well your senses are heightened anyways when you're running and I feel like for me my sense of smell was, I was just very aware of everything around me and um, smelling fresh laundry while I was running was one of my favorite smells right up there with bacon so um, yeah anyways that's it for this haul I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about the flavors that I got or why I chose what I chose I don't know I kind of told you guys why I chose what I chose if you want to know how these um, towelettes work out drop me a, a comment below and I'll comment back when after I use them but yeah I'm so excited I'm really glad I missed the um, the semi-annual sale last year both times so I was really glad to grab it this time but um, yeah thanks for watching if you guys haven't already please consider subscribing I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year and if you've been a watcher for a little while you'll know that every time I hit a hundred subscriber milestone I do a gift card giveaway and I started with a $50 Amazon gift card getaway giveaway then I did 75 and this time I'm gonna do a hundred dollar Amazon gift card giveaway when I hit 300 subscribers so again if you haven't subscribed already please do that, like this video, and come back next week. Um, so until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.